Hi all. Uh, welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in this session, I wanted to show how uh, we can connect to an uh, uh, SFTP, SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol. So this is used for placing uh, files in the remote location. So I'll show you how uh, web methods connect to those um, uh, using the uh, SFTP settings where you'll be creating the connection between integration server and the uh, SFTP server. And once the connections are made, we'll be using the uh, inbuilt uh, services provided by SFTP to uh, log into the SFTP server and then place those files. So let's see how this can be done. So for this purpose, what I'm going to do is I need to download some uh, sample SFTP server. So if I just type for testing in Google, so you get this free public SFTP servers. In this, you can uh, download any of the servers, so you can just try to connect to this server. Let's say, for example, we are trying to connect to this. This is the username and password. You can even check whether this is working fine or not. Like say, here it says this, uh, this is okay. So now we can uh, reuse this uh, service. I mean, this server. So what I'll just need to do is, it says that we need to uh, download some Rebex tiny SFTP server or Remini server. So I'll be using this Rebex uh, tiny mini S, tiny SFTP server. So I've downloaded that already and uh, it is in my installables. Yeah, so it's a lightweight one. You just need to run it. Once you run it, you will, uh, the server will, also, these details will pop up and it will show you the credentials and uh, all those details. Yeah. So we can connect to any one of these uh, IP address and then uh, run it. So for this purpose, what we need to do is, and additionally, I wanted to download uh, one more client called WinACP, which will show the directory structure of uh, the SFTP server. So in this, if you see, it's only the thin client where it shows you the details, but it doesn't show you where to place the files and all. So for that purpose, I also downloaded WinACP and it's in my system. Let the WinACP open by itself. So now what I'll do is I'll go to integration server, external servers, SFTP. You need to create the server alias. Yeah. And name it as SFTP test demo. IP address details, I'll copy it from here. And it's port 22 and then click on save sorry you you need to get the host key so just click on this it will generate a host key for it and it will be placed in this location once that is done click on save so it will save the connection alias so it gives you the host fingerprint and all now you need to create the user alias settings to connect to that SFTP server. Create user alias. It is, yeah. Username, it says tester and password is password. So, this tester, password is once password, password and select the server alias which you created in the previous page. And once that is done, click save. So once that is saved, then click on test to see whether that is working fine or not. It says the test of user and yes, 
sftp demo successful yeah it is said it is succeeded now what you need to do is i need to connect to this uh, location here so let me just copy the same test password login created this uh, folders previously so let's delete this yeah now i'll make a directory here and say ftp and if you wanted to set any specific permissions you can set it i'll leave it as is and now I'll develop a service. So I have uh, one service which I've generated uh, done previously. It's the demo for uh, large flat file handling. So I'm going to reuse, but I'll make some minor changes to it. So it's like previously I used to write it to my own directory here. Now I write those uh, files to like I'm getting it from my local file. And then I will write that uh, files to the uh, SFTP directory. So for that, I'm going to reuse services from uh, the uh, WM public. So I'll go to pub dot client colon SFTP client dot SFTP. First, you need to log in. So I'll just take the user alias. The user alias is SFTP demo. And you'll get the session key, return code, and all these things. If the return code is zero, that means it is successful and it will give you a return message as successful something, yeah? Once that is done, what I wanted to do is here, I wanted to place this JSON strings to uh, um, the SFTP directory, so. I'll keep the services up dot client dot sftp put so I wanted to put in this and I want to convert this JSON string to stream. So I'll use up dot string to stream because the put expect uh, stream there yeah and here what's the file name we are placing it I just wanted to use only this thing so it's file counter.json so it is like I just wanted to map this input stream here now and the remote location is slash sftp demo slash file counter.json. Hope that's the same sftp demo. Yeah. And override the pipeline. I mean, perform the pipeline variable validation here. Once that is done, I wanted to do the same thing here. I'll take this. and that's it so the logic for that is uh, I have um, almost like say 10,000 
lines of uh, input in that. So it's a large file, which is having a 10,000 line input and I'm splitting the file for every thousand and uh, placing it. I think it's more than that 10,000 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, large file copy, it's more than 10,000. I have 10,069 lines. So if it splits for every thousand, there should be 11 files in the target directory. So let me just run this. I hope I'm not dropping anything in between. Yes. This. There should be files with one, two, three, four, till 11 in this case. The service is running. And once that is executed successfully, then uh, the file should be in the directories. Yeah. So if I go to SFTP demo, see, all the files got placed. So this is how you uh, run the, I mean, make a connection with the SFTP server and uh, place the files in, uh, remote directory system. Thank you.